Hi, welcome to Ty's Conscious Kitchen. Today I'm making alkaline vegetable broth. And the items I'm using are currently on Dr. Savings Nutritional Guide. And they are red and green peppers, butternut squash, mushrooms, kale, red and white onions, tomatoes, green onions, and the spices are dill, cayenne, sea salt, onion powder, oregano, sage, savory, and basil. And I'm also using spring water and aquafaba which is chickpea water. So let's begin. First we're going to saute some of the vegetables. We're going to add the grapeseed oil about one to two tablespoons. Add about a cup of red and green pepper. A cup of red and white onions. And about a cup and a half of mushrooms. like a pinch of salt. We're going to saute it for about five minutes. So after about five minutes sauteing the vegetables, we're going to add four cups of spring water and four cups of aquafaba. Now if you don't have that, you can just add four more cups of water. We're going to turn the heat up to high. We're going to add two cups of butternut squash. Two plum tomatoes. About a half a cup of green onions. About a cup of kale. I just use the stalks. Teaspoon of sea salt, teaspoon of sage, teaspoon of basil, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of savory, teaspoon of dill. teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of cayenne powder and we're going to bring it to a boil and then you would simmer it with the lid on for about two hours the broth is now done and the nice thing about this is that it's like having vegetable soup Or if you strain off the vegetables, you could have the actual broth. I took the strain off broth and put it in a mason jar. But what I do, I don't fill up all the way because I like to freeze it. And I don't want it to expand and crack the uh, jar. So this is just a tip for you to remember. And there it is. Alkaline vegetable broth. It looks delicious. And it tastes delicious. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.